Hello everyone, Zolan Mamus here, and welcome to a review video. I'm going to be reviewing two things. I have the HD 201s here, and they're going to be put to rest, because I got this guy right here, the Sennheiser HD 569s, and, hold on, I got this guy, the Shure SM7B. Let's go ahead and review both of them. Okay, so so far I've reviewed, I've had a bit of a good experience with the Shure SM7B so far. It sounds really, really awesome. Right now I have the, uh, the, the uh, high frequencies on and the mid frequencies on. There's no post-processing because I do not want to do any. And frankly, I think that this sounds way better than any Audio Technica. And, I mean, this is a professional microphone. Come on. It's pro-quality, versatile microphone, SM microphones, industry standard, professional utility, beta microphone, precision crafted for fine sound detail. KSM microphone, ultra sensitive for masterful performance. So what you will get in the box is some some docu some stuff here. You will get some pretty thorough documentation. You will get a five eighths to three eighths microphone stand adapter. And you will get this foam windscreen that just slides on, which I'm not going to do that right now. But, uh, hey, it's on. But this is absolutely fantastic, and it sounds great. I love how this thing sounds. Um, by the way, I might have to boost this in post. My gain is set at about uh, 80%. I don't know. Maybe have to boost it in post, but... You'll have to check the description for the whatever I did. And I know that the lighting is a little different. The, 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 the light that I usually bounce off the wall to go right at me is pointed directly at me so that you guys can see the microphone. And I'm just going to tell you right now, this thing feels like an absolute tank. I don't know how freaking, I don't know. This thing just feels so good. It feels it feels like it's extremely high quality. And yeah, I'm familiar with Shure mics. I'm very familiar with Shure mics. And I know that the uh, the Shure SM58, I think it is, it's one of them uh, long capsules that kind of rival this one. But then again, I think that this one might sound a little better. I know that if you run this that one over with a truck, it will still work without any complications. And yes, I tested the frequency response. Well, I tested the, the things. And here we go. The frequency response is 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Has an impedance of 150 ohms. Uh, where is all the English? Because I'm reading... Espanol. Sorry to any Spanish viewers on who are watching me right now. But that was so bad. I can't find it. I can't find English. What do you want from me? I'm an English reader. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, it has a, color, a cardioid polar pattern. It has a hum pickup of 11 decibels. A polarity... Okay, never mind. Uh, one, two, almost two pounds, 1.7 pounds type dynamic moving coil. And it has, um, it, yeah, I'm just using the presence boost settings. That's about it. <laughs> um, accessories. Oh, okay. Well. Replacement? Yeah, 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 I know. I don't know how to take off this windscreen just yet. I'll have to uh, figure that out later. But, yeah. But if you actually want to 
if you want a schematic of the polar pattern, it's literally right here. However, just like podcastage, we have to test this polar pattern out to check if it's actually cardioid or not. Okay, that sound good to you? Cool. All right, here we go. I'm going around the microphone. Can you hear me back here? Hopefully not. Up here, obviously. Hello, everyone. Over here, no, down here, anywhere down here, no. It seems to pick me up pretty good over here, though. <laughs> and right here, you should be able to hear me pretty much perfectly. Okay, now on to the Sennheiser HD 569s. Haven't taken these out of the package yet. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Out with the old, in with the new, as they say. Oh, oh my God. Those look awesome. Okay. So, wait, well, what? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what to make of this. Okay, so basically what comes in the box is... um. Actually, I think that might just be it. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all that comes in that bag. In the bags. The headphones themselves? Oh. It does, in fact, come... Is this a detachable wire? Oh. <laughs> it has a detachable wire. What? I did not know that. Okay, so here we go. Put these on, I guess. Uh, <laughs> okay, that, that looks stupid. Okay, first off. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's actually kind of overly adjustable. I don't like that. Can I just... Ooh. Ooh. Hey! That's awesome! Look, I kind of look sleek in these headphones. How are you today? Okay. Let's take this wire out. Um. Uh. <laughs> why did I sniff you guys? Don't think about me weird. Don't judge me! Uh, <laughs> okay. So. Oh, sorry guys, I keep on banging the microphone. I swear to God, if you guys come up with euphemisms, I will have to murder someone. What? Uh-oh. So we do seem to have a problem here. Uh... So that's all that comes with the headphones, huh? Oh, wait, no. So that's the actual wire, and then this is the other wire that comes with it. What? Mm, okay. Okay. I kind of had an idea, but you know what? You know what's a good idea? Plug these in. Just plug these in. And not because I, I like the sound of my own voice or whatever, but I know that my my audio interface has zero latency monitoring. Latency free, as I should say. Zero latency, what am I? Stupid? Yeah, that's probably accurate. Okay. Let's plug this bad boy in. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is kind of weird because I'm hearing myself. At the same time, as well as just speaking right into the microphone, so I have no idea what I'm doing. These headphones sound really good. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you guys. These these headphones, they sound really good. 
and um, we got this. Some ASMR shit going on right here. What do you think of that? You like me now? Do you like me now? Probably not. You guys probably never like me. <coughs> Cut that out, Sam, please. I don't even know who Sam is. Who's Sam? Anyone here? You, are, is anyone over here named Sam? And if you are named Sam, please come over so that you can cut that shit out. Just slap me and then I'll know my I'll know what I'm not doing. <sighs> These things. <laughs> These little things. Um, I'm going to use a pen to cut open this because I'm a wimp and I don't like using this shit. That sounds about accurate, right? <laughs> okay. So, as for the music test goes, I'm going to compare these. I'm going to compare these to the... Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to compare the... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to compare these to the HD 201s or the HD 206s. Same thing, basically, just different. Just the, the, the 206 and the 201. Ones, they're the exact same. There's no differences between these. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and check these. Okay. Okay. Out with these. That's a long-ass cable. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to use the strap thing. The Velcro. Where's the Velcro? Uh -huh. Right, right here. Okay, oh, that's weird. How did it go over there? I probably just put it there, and I shouldn't be asking that question. Oh my gosh, why am I asking these questions? <laughs> to you guys who can't even answer me, I am sorry for all the trauma I've caused to all of you. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull that out. And pull that in. Nice. That's all right, right? I'm the worst. And my desk is a mess now, too. Oh, no. Okay, which one is the way? <laughs> I think that this is the way, right? I don't know. I think that this is the way. Depends which way is it? Um, is it is it in this one? Yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, that snapped. I heard a snapping sound. Is that good? <laughs> okay. Let's. Oh, I got my receipts in my pocket. Cut that out. Okay, here we go. Another wire. God, I'm the worst. Okay, gonna test this out. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's test it out with some band that I have actually been listening to a lot lately, and that is. If you guys can't read that, System of a Down, Chop Suey. That's loud. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome.
All right, let's try something else. Let's try something I've come to absolutely adore. Genesis, live in 1984. The Momotor in the Cage Medley. Okay, I'm going to test out the instrumental part right here. Yeah. Yes. How many times have I said that, that, that in this video? <laughs> what? Here we go. Colony of Slippermen. Mm-hmm. Whoa! These guys might be my new daily drivers. All right, let's compare these. The Sennheiser HD 569s. Versus the HD two O ones. Ooh, these are cold. Okay. Same song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These sound okay. I mean, for sen for cheap Sennheisers, these sound fantastic. However, they don't have as much depth. They don't have as much presence. They don't have as much high end as the Sennheiser HD for uh, five, six nines. I mean, these are definitely going to be used for drumming. Mainly because of the fact that it has the long cable, and, it, and I need a long cable because if I don't, I'll break those ones, and I do not want to break those. Oh my god, I do not want to break those. Th these, the, the, the HD 569s are definitely the new daily driver. That'll get stuff done, and these ones will go in the trash. No, I'm just kidding. They're not going in the trash, however, I'm putting them to rest. 
Okay, let's check the the specs. The, let's check the documentation, and I'll tell tell you about the specs, and then I'm off, and then I'm done. So there's the five five nine, the five six nine, the five seven nine, and the five nine nine, which I was looking at the five nine nine too. Oh my god, those are so expensive. But then again, it has a good it has a good reason to be because they're Sennheisers. When you're buying Sennheisers. You're buying Sennheisers. Okay, so the documentation is fairly thorough and you know, it's fairly it's fairly detailed and you 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 know what you're buying with Sennheiser. So let's check the excuse me. It's on this thing. It's on this thingy. Right here. Okay. Okay. So the frequency response is 10 hertz to 28 kilohertz. The other ones that I have down there are 21 hertz to 18 kilohertz. So a huge difference there. Uh, an impedance of 23 ohms. Sound pressure level of 115 decibels. And a total harmonic distortion of just greater than 0.2%. That is absolutely astonishing. These guys are my new daily drivers. These things are gonna get me everywhere I want in the headphone brand, in headphones. And these are gonna be used for gaming now. I mean, I'm going to have to buy a wire extender, but I think that's a given considering, you know, all of that stuff. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. There will be a logo right here, right there, right there. Click on it to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace.